Hey, I'm back again with another scrawler box. This one was sent to me in November. And if you'd like to check out your own scrawler box and get your own subscription monthly art supplies, it's like Christmas every month if you're an artist. It's pretty fun. Um, you can get your own. I'll have a link in the description and you can, you know, check it out, see if it's for you. All right, inside we have... Oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> this is the first thing I, s what in the heck? Yikes, <laughs> does that pop off the shelf or what? Okay, let's open this up and see what we've got. So we've got three brush markers in pink, blue, and green. And then we have one coloring marker in gray. We've got one Crayola marker in orange. An Edding 1200 metallic color pen. Oh, so this is metallic? Oh, I wanna test that, <laughs> I wanna test that. Uh, we also have a pink brush pen, Ecoline brush pen, and a green Ecoline brush pen. And then the candy is this funny whistle thing. And you also got a whistle candy, it was a sucker. And the sucker was actually shaped like a whistle. It was like one of those slide whistles. That's what it was telling me anyway. Ooh, okay. Oh, brush pens, okay. Emma from the Black Chalk Collective. Do these connect together? I think they do. They're like Legos. Oh my gosh. Is that it? Oh! Oh, and they gave me four so I can stick them together. Oh my gosh. This is too much fun. What in the heck are these? I need more. I need to connect them all. I mean, I don't know if it helps with it being a good marker, but look at that. Look, I made a thing. Oh, oh and we've got paper to write on. <laughs> Oh wait, whoa, whoa, this is... Simple techniques to enhance your lettering. Adding a highlight effect to your lettering is a great way to bring your piece of art off the page and give you words a 3D effect. To do this, simply imagine a light source. In this example, it would be coming down from the northwest and grab a white opaque pen. Using the white pen, mark the top corners to the light source with hypothetically by hitting as per the above. It's the ombre effect, the highlight effect, and the shadow effect. Should I write little or big? Well, let's practice small first. Let's try the metallic. Ooh, ooh, I'm not good at this. I think we need to zoom in. Brush writing with waffles. Oh no, I messed up. I don't even know how to spell. But this is supposed to be metallic. Does it look metallic? Well, I guess there's a bit of a shine to it. Not like my nails, but. <laughs> my nails are being a bit of a show off today. All right, let's try another one. I like how thick that is though. That's fun to use. Like it just looks good. What's this one? A brush pen. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be a squishy tip. This, oh man, I'm scared. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Let's try again. Skinny, fat on the way down. Up 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 skinny, fat on the way down. Okay, so far I like this one better than this one. This one you need to write a lot bigger. I'm gonna try this blue. I've heard that the key to having good, uh, good handwriting is keeping everything even and like in the same, <laughs> like if all these were the same height, that's the key to good um, handwriting. I, I've since given up on whatever the challenge was. This one was it, brush. Brush, brush. I'm using brushes, that, that fits it. And now I'm just practicing my handwriting. So you see how that looks a little bit more uniform than some of this other stuff because it's all the same height. So writing in all caps actually can look better than some other handwriting. Just, just, even if your handwriting is bad, just by switching to all caps can really, really help because it, everything's like almost the same height and it just looks so much more uniform. Um, yeah, see if I write that again. Doesn't look as good because it just sort of looks like it's all these varying heights and it's just kind of ugly in comparison. Um, so that's why I like to really like write with all caps. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. What should I write? What should I write? Let's write the word brush, I guess. That was the challenge, wasn't it? Ooh, I did it. Oh, thought I was gonna spell it wrong there at the end, but then I really pulled it together when I got to the H. Like, the R-U, I was just like, rah, rah. and then by the time I got to the S-H, I was like, I got this, I got this, this is my thing. Yeah, I completed the challenge. Ching. Ha <laughs>
Let's use another. I want to go back to the metallic. I think this one's my favorite. This might be my favorite pen after writing with them. I feel like I was. I wish I was better at handwriting, but yeah, my my cursive is it's lacking. I feel like now this video is just make fun of my terrible handwriting <laughs> or how I forget how to spell at times. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, don't like that one as much. Let's write really tiny because sometimes that looks cool. <laughs> Let's just do that. That's all caps. My sweet darling. My love for you grows and grows. Love your darling. Why did I, I just threw a, an I in there? <laughs> the men over here. So yeah, that's my handwriting. It's pretty freaking cruddy. I was trying to like add some like cursive in there and that was a bad idea. But, like, can we flip this over? Okay, there's no lines on that side. Oh, but look, none of these things bleed through. <gasps> Ooh, I just started liking all these brushes a lot better. <laughs> awesome. You'd think someone who like, you know, considers himself an artist and you know roughly knows how to draw would have decent handwriting but that really hasn't been the case for so let's try it again this feels like school now so no no no, I was so difficult. I made another R instead of an N. Gosh, I feel like I'm right back in second grade. Okay, let's do a different pen. I really like the way this one squishes. This one is really fun to use, but I just really like the color of this pen. Oh shoot, I messed up already. Why am I finding this so difficult? My goodness. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. That literally looks like second grade. <laughs> All right, try a new one, new one. Go back to Arlene, that's a pretty name. That looks good. That looks pretty, okay. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm learning something. Let's do the pink neck. I need a pink neck. There, I just tried to write it really fast and hope for the best. Let's try that again. Fast seems to be a good method. Just write super fast. I can't spell it wrong if I write it fast. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Okay. All right, I'm starting to like these a little better. All right. Let's see. What color haven't I used? Did I use black? I don't think I used black. Alrighty, that one got a little wobbly near the E there, <laughs> but it's, it's, I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I'm running out of paper, so we have like, we have room for one really good, write the word Arlene. Oh, if you're wondering why the heck I'm writing the word Arlene, um, I've actually been practicing her signature for a while, but I haven't done it in several months, so I wanted to get back at it. Um, she's a character I created. She landed on Earth in about 1947, and uh, with Tori, the story takes place from 1947 on, and uh, she's an alien. She landed in Roswell with her husband, Nathan, and <laughs> they solve crimes, so that's a thing. <laughs> anyway, but uh, let's look. I just really wanted to draw her handwriting. Yeah. Okay, all right. I don't know, I just like the way signatures look. Like if you think, okay, look, I got the signature of this famous person, and you're just like, okay, it looks bad, but it's there, so it looks awesome. That's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling about this. Okay, now I'm gonna try and draw um, her husband's name. We can use it black, I think. Yep, 
Yeah, okay, so there looks like the difference between her signature and his. I'm gonna try it one more time. I don't know why I'm having so much fun. Okay, this one bled through a little, but. Okay, <laughs> that looks a little too feminine. I think this one looks a little bit more like a dude wrote it. I mean, I'm a girl, but. <laughs> And who's to say what girl handwriting, boy handwriting looks like, but I feel like this is just a little bit curvier and looks a little bit more feminine in my opinion. Ooh, hmm, which one do I like better? I just like this pen and the way it looks. <laughs> Nothing's going to beat it. This one's much thicker and fun, but okay, I think I like the, oh, I don't know, which one do I like? Hmm. These are just fun and now I'm out of paper. But hey, who cares? Oh, that's what the gray's for. The gray's for a shadow. Let's add the shadow. Does that look like it sticks out? Kinda just looks muddy. Okay, that one worked a little better. That looks like it might be popping. Popping out of the paper. All right, so that's what the gray one's for. <laughs> I should have paid a little more attention to what I was doing. But yeah, that looks cool. And then it says you can add the same color over again and it'll get darker, I guess. That makes a nice squeak sound. Okay, now it just looks messy. <laughs> That's another, another thing, you can use a white gel pen. Luckily I have one. And you can create little highlights up at the top here. Like, like it's a three dimensional shape that you've like grabbed Twizzlers and <laughs> created the shape of it. Okay, I'm seeing it. It looks a little messy, but I suppose if I practice that a little bit more, I could probably do that better. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you <laughs> had fun watching me geek out with these pens, they were really, really fun. Um, I don't think I did anything that looks awesome, but I just had a lot of fun. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week, and I hope you have a very delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!